Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're unraveling a contentious topic, how Trudeau and his government made Canada poor. Under Justin Trudeau's leadership, Canada has seen some significant economic shifts, and not all for the better. Before we dive into today's critical discussion, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more insightful videos. And if you value independent, conservative-leaning news, please consider supporting us through the donation link in the description. Your contribution helps keep our independent voice alive. Let's start with the elephant in the room, government spending and debt. Since Trudeau took office, there's been an unprecedented increase in these areas. The Liberals, capitalizing on the pandemic, inflated the federal budget by $80 to $90 billion more annually, a rise not just temporary but seemingly permanent. This has led to a staggering increase in the national debt. Remember, debt today means taxes or inflation tomorrow. Inflation has also skyrocketed, reaching heights unseen since the early 1980s. In response, the Bank of Canada has been forced to hike interest rates and sell government debt to curb this inflation, a move that risks tipping the economy into recession. Tax policies have shifted too. Increases in the top marginal income tax rate and other potential hikes are raising concerns about Canada's investment climate and economic competitiveness. Higher taxes and an expanding regulatory environment under Trudeau have led to a less favorable environment for entrepreneurs and investors. Let's look at economic growth and job creation. Trudeau's tenure has witnessed slower growth in per-person GDP, total GDP, and individual incomes compared to previous administrations. Also, private sector job growth hasn't significantly outpaced previous governments, pointing to a weaker economy. Trudeau's approach to the oil and gas sector, especially in Western Canada, has been controversial, impacting the sector negatively and heightening regional tensions. This echoes the actions taken during his father, Pierre Trudeau's tenure, which were also marked by high inflation, heavy borrowing, and tension in the energy sector. When comparing Justin Trudeau's economic policies with those of his father, Pierre Trudeau, we observe striking similarities. Both increased government spending and debt, faced soaring inflation, and made decisions that impacted the country's economic competitiveness negatively. As we've seen, Trudeau's economic legacy is fraught with increased government spending, rising national debt, and policies that have potentially hindered economic growth. It's crucial for Canadians to stay informed and critically assess the impact of these policies on the nation's economic health. Thank you for watching. Remember, your support through subscriptions and donations keeps our channel thriving. Join us next time as we continue to provide independent and critical analysis of today's most pressing issues.